What's up, guys? It is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, we are finally reviewing the Flex 6 14 inch laptop, convertible laptop. Uh, so, uh, I'm super excited. I got pros and cons on this particular laptop, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so when you open up the Flex 6 14 inch laptop, you're going to see this beautiful keyboard layout. Now, the casing around the keyboard is made out of brush aluminum which feels extremely nice on your palms when you're typing a lot and I mean a lot it feels really nice now the keyboard itself is backlit which is a huge plus the distance between the home keys and the trackpad is nice enough that you don't need to raise up your fingers you could just move it with no problem now I didn't have any issues on the trackpad when I was testing it out no hesitation it wasn't stopping it just worked now a cool thing about the Flex 6 14 inch, it comes with an additional security layer, which is a fingerprint scanner, allowing you to use one of your fingers to log in with no problem. Now, one of the things I did not like about the keyboard is that the keys itself feels extremely flat. Uh, I kind of like the keys that feels kind of hard and they kind of sticked out on the keyboard, but for these, they felt really flat for me. So we spoke about the keyboard layout. Uh, so let's talk about the display. Now the display itself, if you're measuring it corner to corner, is going to give you 14 inches. It is full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. One of the cool things about this display, it is multi-touch. Uh, I don't like using the multi-touch, but I had to force myself to use it for you guys to test it out. Uh, and the reason why I don't like it is because of the fingerprints. Uh, so I constantly find myself always wiping it clean. Uh, it is IPS as well as anti-glare, which is a huge, huge plus. Uh, you do notice on the Flex 6 14 inch this huge black border. This is when you're converting the laptop into a tablet. This allows you to hold it with no problem. At the very top of the display, uh, Lenovo does provide you a 720p webcam, which works extremely well when you're doing video conferencing, such as uh, webinars, uh, Zoom, or, you know, you going live in YouTube. <laughs> so that's a huge plus. Now if we want to talk about the brightness. This is the brightest that this display can go. And this is the lowest that it could go. It's not completely blacked out, but I am still able to see the wallpaper as well as the icons. I think the Flex 6 14 inch, the highest nicks is around 250 nicks. Now I'm a little disappointed on the Flex 6 14 inch because this right here is a teaser the active pen, uh, which works extremely well when you're dealing with illustration and InDesign and all that stuff. Uh, I install Photoshop, so I'm gonna double click on one of the files here. Uh, the reason why I'm kind of disappointed is that it's optional. That means you have to pay an additional 40, I think 40 or 50 bucks to get it. It'd have been cool if Lenovo just added it inside the package, why not, right? They even Place a logo right here that says optional, Lenovo Active Pen. Just give it to us. Uh, I did find myself using it a lot right here. And the best way to use the Active Pen is when you're converting this guy inside a tablet. Right? It's the best way that you could use it. So right now it's in tablet form. And I am going to change the fill. Let's change the opacity a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to have the pen suit. And I am going to just zoom in real quick. And we're just going to trace. Now, I didn't have any issues with the pen. Like, no stutter, no hesitation. It felt really smooth. A uh, huge plus on that. Uh, I was able to use it maybe for a good week. And I'm still using it with the same battery that I swapped it out with. So it really depends on how you're using it. Battery life is amazing with this active pen. Accuracy is really, it works. Right now I'm just tracing a couple of things. And I'm just going really fast. And look at how accurate that is. That's awesome. Cool. I could do this all day. But uh, the active pen is a huge plus. I would like to see if Lenovo added it within the package, why have it as an optional is just extra money that I have to spend. Now, one of the things I do not like about the active pen with the Flex 6 is this little guy right here. Uh, this is a pen holder, which allows you to hold it this way, which is cool, or you can insert it this way, right? So 
if I convert this guy back into a laptop form. Now, if we want to use this little guy, we have to insert it in one of the USBs. Now, the reason why I do not like this little holder is that it eliminates one of my USBs. And I always need my USBs for a flash drive or two flash drives or a hard drive, whatever. Now, to use this guy, you could place it within one of the USBs. It doesn't matter the left or the right one, whichever one. And you can insert your pen this way. Or if you're traveling, you know, you close it up, you could use it this way, which is pretty cool. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it eliminates one of my USBs. And for me, I'm constantly using all my USBs for everything. Now, I talked about USB ports. The Flex 614 has a lot of them. So if we take a look at the right-hand side, we're going to see our power button, our SD card reader, as well as one 3.0 USB port. On the left-hand side, we have our audio combo jack which allows us to hook up a mic slash headphone we also have a type c port uh, an additional 3.0 usb port which is always on charging and the hdmi and don't forget about your power port so the flex 6 14 inch uh, is really powerful it packs a huge punch so if we look at the laptop itself let's click on the taskbar click on task manager awesome and let's open this guy up a little bit. Beautiful. Let's go to performance. Let's look at the CPU. So right now it is running a quad core i5 8250U processor. The clock speed on this is 1.60. The overall base speed is only 1.80. It's not that bad, right? For memory, uh, it does have eight gigs of memory. Uh, for hard drive space, it comes with a Samsung solid state drive, which is 256 gigs. It comes with two graphics cards. Uh, you're going to get the, the general one that comes with the eighth generation processor, which is the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. Now, one of the cool things about this Flex 6 14 inch, it comes with an NVIDIA GeForce MX130. Now, it has only two gigs. Now, with the specifications that we went over on the Flex 6 14 inch, uh, this machine is capable of doing Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, even a little bit of editing uh, within Adobe Premiere. Now, within the desktop, I have a folder called Videos. I have a 4K video right here. I'm going to right-click on it. Let's go to Properties, and within Properties, let's go to Details. Uh, it is 4K, around 4K, with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. And I am able to play this video file with no hesitation, no problems, pretty smooth. So we just spoke about the specifications on the Flex 6 14 inch and the specifications are damn good for the pricing. Now I get to the pricing a little later, but there's a catch and that's the battery. You gotta understand a lot of these laptops are considered mobile. We're not gonna hook up a laptop, plug it into the power adapter and just leave it on. We want to travel with them, right? I was really disappointed on the Flex 6 14 inch. I was only able to get around five and a half hours. That's really bad. Now, the way I like to test my battery life on any particular laptop is I like to install PC Mark A and run it three times. The first time uh, I got around three hours, okay? Around 18%, it died out. And then I had to charge it up and I ran it again and I got three hours and 34 minutes. And the last time I got around two hours and 54 minutes. And you gotta understand PC Mark, what it does, it constantly opens up programs, it's running nonstop until the battery dies. It, 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 it normally cuts off around 18%. Now, a lot of us are not going to be using a laptop two hours, three hours, four hours, nonstop, maybe some of us, but it really depends on what we're doing. Now, on the fourth test, I like to completely charge the machine up to 100% and then take it home without the power adapter. Now, this is basically what I got right here for my fourth test. On the 25th, I took it home with 100% and I shut it down. I used it for only an hour and 29 minutes. On the 26th, I only used it for 54 minutes. And on the 28th, I completely used it until it died out. Uh, that was around three hours and 13 minutes. Now, if you're worrying about charging time, I was kind of surprised when I was charging this guy because, again, it's not... A, a type C USB port that I'm plugging in the power adapter is a regular small little uh, power port, right? Uh, it took around an hour and 51 minutes of charge time for the 14 inch. So we just went over the battery life on the Flex 614. Again, to me, I'm not really satisfied 
with the battery life. Uh, I can't get eight hours plus on this particular machine. Uh, don't get me wrong, the specifications is amazing. You are going to get an eighth generation processor with eight gigs, 256 gigs of solid state drive, fast boot time, fast charging. That's all awesome. So you're probably saying to yourself, okay, you got a sucky battery life. Uh, you got great specifications. Most likely you're going to spend a lot of money for this, maybe over a thousand dollars. I was surprised that this guy starting at $529, it's not bad. It's under $1,000 with the specifications. I think the only thing that you're going to sacrifice is the battery life. Now, if we go all the way right here and go to current models, the highest that you could get is $715. And that particular model is going to give you the following. You're going to get the 8th generation processor with an i5-8250U processor. Clock speed is 1.60 and it could go up to 3.40 with Turbo Boost, which is cool. Uh, all three models come with Windows 10 Home, 64-bit, and this is the only one right here that's going to provide you a full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. All of them have multi-touch and anti-glare. Uh, it looks like this is the only model that could get eight gigs, so I can't go higher than 16 gigs. I wonder what's the highest on the memory. So let's go here, tech spec up to eight gigs and the cap of storage is only 256 gigs solid state drive <gasps> that that sucks wow okay uh and it looks like lenovo hooked me up with a special review unit because it doesn't look like it has an option on the site to upgrade it with a geforce mx 130 you're only going to get the integrated intel hd graphics 620 on the 714 uh price one uh all of them come with the 720p HD camera. Again, none of them come with the pen. If you want to purchase the pen, you have to spend around 40 bucks for it. And it also looks like it doesn't come with the fingerprint reader. So another additional thing that Lenovo hooked me up to test for you guys. All right, guys, so let's conclude our review with the Flex 6 14 inch. Let's talk about heating. Now heating on the Flex 6 14 inch, I did notice it around this area right here as well as the display. If you have the laptop on your lap, uh, it's not going to get to the point that it's going to burn your lap, but it will get warm. For noise, I did notice noise around here when I was running PC Mark, and you have to understand PC Mark is constantly running different programs, but you would definitely hear the noise when you're running like After Effects, when you're rendering something, or Adobe Premiere. Now, one of the things I do not like about this laptop is the battery life, uh, because the battery life I was only able to get around five and a half hours. Don't get me wrong, with the specifications, it's great to run multiple programs such as Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Adobe Premiere, and for under $1,000, that's not that bad, but I would love to have a better battery life. Another thing that I do not like about the Flex 6 14 inch is that it does not come with the Apple pin. That means that's an additional $40 that I have to pay. And that's it guys for the review. Hopefully you enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.